Welcome to episode 4 of The Quest. In today's video, we are going to be working on some of the achievements that are in the husbandry category, which means we will be making a little barn area and a farm and whatnot. So yeah, that being said, let's get right into the video. Also, let me know what you guys thought about the little Halloween special that I did with Trix. Um, we worked very, very hard on it, so if you have not seen it, please go check it out. It's really silly and really fun. But yeah, considering we did not do any achievement-related things in the last episode, we need to get on that today. Okay, before we get... Oh, hello. <laughs> we have a guest. Before we get to all of the barn stuff, I did want to show you guys that I moved all of the stuff that was outside over here into the house. Sad thing though, I also had to get rid of the handcrafted mod, which was the mod for furniture. Uh, do you mind? And the reason is because every time that I looked at my house or I looked like in the general vicinity of an area where the furniture was in, it would drop my frames for some reason. If you know what that's about, let me know. Like I could literally just look away from my house and be perfectly fine. And I got a new graphics card, so it isn't just my PC being slow. I don't know. But we had to remove the furniture. Um, I replaced them with some normal blocks. I also, as I said, put all of the chests inside and I put them in the barrels that were upstairs. Thankfully, I didn't have to replace those. And I just went through and sorted everything and everything is basically done storage-wise besides one thing that I wanted to do on camera because it's an achievement, I think. And that is put glow ink sacks on the signs so that the signs glow. Okay, let's just go upstairs and turn these signs all glowy. As you can see, I <laughs> tried the best I could to replace the furniture that we lost. It looks a little janky, but will be okay. I didn't see any other like good furniture mods um, for this version yet. So anyway, okay. I think this gives me an achievement. So I'm just going to, yep. We got the glow and behold achievement, which is make the text of any sign glow. And we are just going to go ahead and do all of these signs. Boom, 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 boom. Yay. I just, I like how it looks more um, with the little white outline. It's kind of easier for me to read. <laughs> So I decided that'll get an achievement out of the way and it just looks better for me. So I wanted to do it anyway. All right, first we are going to sleep before we do anything else. Okay, I have a very rough idea of what I want to do. I will pop up a picture on the screen right now of the very slight reference that I'm using. I'm saying that because I'm gonna make the barn kind of match our house, like the little elven architecture. Oh yeah, look, you can see his face now. Make your face. <laughs> um, basically we are going to make a barn first and then we will go and get all of the animals that are needed and we're also going to make a little bee farm because we have some beehives. I do have the carry on mod but I feel like that's kind of cheating um, for me to literally just like pick up this beehive and put it down where I'm putting the barn so we are going to do it the normal way which is by shearing these and getting a beehive made so we can lure the bees in there and we will also have to make campfires for that. I need to not forget that part. <laughs> Because it would be very hectic if I do. But yeah, let's just go ahead. I'm going to go grab some chests. I think four will be fine. Actually, two will do. I'm not making this too big. And we are just going to go ahead and go... I think I'm going to have it be kind of straight down. Maybe a little bit to the side. Just so we can have a nice path down here. I am making it down in this little plains area. Oh, oh dear. That is not, not the best spot in the world. Damn, our farm might actually have to be kind of far away. <laughs> um, which is fine. I kind of, I wanted to be in this flat, ow, plains area. Okay, this little area works and there's cows down here anyway. Ow, cheese. Hello, cows. Actually, I might kidnap you real quick. I'm trying to find a good spot. I feel like just right here will work. Um, and then I'll kidnap these cows <laughs> really quick so they don't go away. First, we need to grab some wood from over here. Do we have enough for, okay, yeah, we have enough for fences, I think think. Probably the bare minimum. They're gonna be very cramped, but it's okay. It'll be worth it when I build this luxurious home for them. That's a gate. I always do this. I always mess up the crafting recipe. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just gonna put the fence over here out of the way. Oh dear. Yeah, that is the bare minimum. <laughs> I apologize in advance, cows. I just need you to be here. No, go in. Go in. Don't you dare escape. Okay, you're stuck. Good. Um, I am using the carry-on just to 
pick these animals up. <laughs> I hope that's okay. Oh, what? You know what? That works. I forgot that whenever you place animals on top of each other, they literally attach to one another. <laughs> Come here, cow. Stop running. This is inevitable. Ow. And I stack again. Yes! Okay. <laughs> That's so stupid, but it's so funny. Cow tower. Wait, this is a good fun thumbnail moment. Hold on. Sorry, I'm YouTubing. I'm gonna get this one other cow really quick. And then we are going to start on getting materials. Um, it's mainly just wood. It's nothing too, too crazy. I do need wool, so I need to be on the lookout for sheepy sheeps. But other than that, it's a pretty easy build. Um, actually, I take that back. I think I'm gonna be using calcite. I'm not sure though. So, like I said, I am doing it pretty differently from the reference. Um, I think instead of stripped oak, I think it is. I'm doing stripped cherry wood. Um, I'm keeping the birch and calcite. And for the bottom, instead of cobblestone, I might use spruce. Um, but we'll see. I'm kind of just gonna wing it as we go, to be honest. <laughs> now let us get started. Um, I don't have a schematic of this either, so we're really, really winging it, but it'll be okay. I'm just gonna move our stuff over here so I can level out this area and then fill in this part. So I am going to go ahead and level out this little section and fill in the little holes that I need to. Um, I will see you guys whenever I get done. <laughs> Okay, so I have finally finished clearing out a little area, at least enough for the actual barn placement. Um, I'm probably gonna have to clear out a lot more, maybe expand on this side. I don't know, maybe like connect these two together. We'll have to see. Because I kind of came up with a plan while I was like digging. I kind of want to do like the barn and then when it comes to our actual farmland, I kind of want to make them in the shape of like different stuff. Like I was thinking like a heart or like a moon or a cat or just stuff like that. I think that would be really cute. Is it practical? No. But is it cute? Yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I'll probably have to like draw it up or something. Just so I know what to do, I'm probably gonna have to also build it in my test world. But um, that'll be later. For now, I think this is enough room to put the barn. So I am going to have it face this way. Okay, so the materials we need, we need cherry wood, calcite, birch, spruce, maybe iron bars. I might just do trapdoors for that. Basically just a bunch of wood. <laughs> so I'm going to get started on that. I don't want to bore you guys with me sitting there chopping trees for 20 minutes, so I will see you whenever I get back. Okay, I have gathered pretty much all of the materials. I am probably going to have to get more while I'm building, but that's fine. Um, So we are going to go ahead and get started. I need to plan out the layout. I need to figure out the dimensions really quick so i want front to be facing this way so we're gonna start right here remember the bottom part instead of cobblestone i am just going to do a spruce wood so it looks like it is one two three four and then a one two three four gap and then a four on the other side i'm going to strip all of this of course and then put trap doors on the ends and then i will put more locks right here just so i can know where to put the trap doors for the fake doors and then it looks like the strip locks go five up so we're going to go one two three four five boop drop down boop one two three four Five. The logs right here are a little bit taller, so I'm just going to go like three more up than our normal. I'm probably gonna have to do more because of the roof I'm doing, but that's good for now. And now the same on the other side. Perfect. And now all we have to do now is strip everything. And now we just put some stairs on the top and bottoms of this to create windows. And then it looks like there are stairs in the doorway, so we're gonna have to do that. And I personally, whenever I do archways like this, I like to put trapdoors on the sides like this. So we are going to do that. It just looks better to me for some reason. I don't know. Okay. And now for the actual trapdoor part, I'm not too sure how I want to do this. So we are probably going to experiment a little bit. I think I'm just going to make them go all the way down instead of having that wood piece there because it looks kind of awkward um, with how trapdoors sit. So we're just going to do this. And now I need to make some spruce slabs so we can make the little roof part. And of course I am making it look a little different just to match the style that I'm going for. Now I am going to do the blocks according to the normal roof first and then change it up after I get done with that. Just so it's a little bit easier to figure out what I need to change. So let me grab some calcite and birch. 
Alrighty, let's get up there. Okay, this is how the roof is normally done. I think what I'm gonna do is heighten these two sides and then the middle and possibly add another level to make the roof bigger. I'm not sure if that's confusing or not, um, so I'm just going to show you what I do whenever I get done. This is what the altered roof looks like. I am probably going to add some trapdoors and stairs around this window area so that it's not just rectangle. But yeah, this is what I meant by changing the roof. It just looks more pointy and then I'm going to have the roof gradually go out a little bit just like our house just so it has a little bit more of an elven feel to it. And then of course I'm going to use moss for the roof as always. Now that we got the base done, I am going to work on the sides and the back as well as the roof and I will see you guys whenever I get done. Time lapse start. <laughs> quite some time now um i think it was like two hours or something that i spent building this which isn't too too bad but it still was a little bit and i'm a little ep the barn is finally finished it looks so good i'm really proud of it as you can see here is the outside i might put some more lights up there and fix the roof a little bit off camera but this is what i'm going to keep for now and this is the outside with our lovely fence areas and i have a texture pack or something it's a texture pack or it's a mod where if you don't put the corner fence down and then it just goes diagonal like this and I think it looks a lot better. Um, so there's that. There's also a fully like floored and everything upstairs area but I'll worry about that whenever I get to it. It's probably just gonna be like a storage area or something. And of course this main area and we have our little sections. I made some hanging signs for the middle so we know which is which. As you can see we have sheep and cows on this side and then we have chickens and pigs on this side. So without further ado I'm going to move these animals that we have right here um into the pen so they won't be stacked anymore sorry about that there we go one more cow and then our only sheep there we go now all we have to do is go back up to our house because sheep and pigs spawn there and i can just roam around here or nearby for some chickens so this won't take too too long as i thought we already have a pig there you go and now for chickens and the last chicken goes in now oh my gosh the animations make them walk so silly. Alrighty, now that we have some livestock, it is time to breed them with what we have. <laughs> Just for the sake of me getting the achievement, I am going to breed some of the chickens since I have an abundance of seeds. Bum, bum, bum. I actually think I have some right here. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so time to get one of our husbandry achievements. Hello! Oh my gosh. Breed. Yeah! Now we have the parrots and the bats achievement. Okay, and now the next thing I want to do is gather some bees for a bee farm. So I'm gonna go to sleep really quick and then we can work on that. Alrighty everyone, I have slept and I have also made us some good old campfire so that we don't anger the bees whenever we grab the honeycomb, um, which is what we need to make the beehives. So I think we are good to go. Um, thankfully, there are beehives all around the cherry blossom biome. So this shouldn't take too long. I kind of want two beehives. Um, just to start out with so it shouldn't be too too difficult now we already have two beehives over here is this one full yes it is okay i think what we do is once this campfire is here the bees are no longer going to be angry at us if we do that there we go oh i overestimated the amount of campfires that we needed but that's okay um i thought they only gave us one honeycomb but they give us three which is good because that's what you need to make one beehive so i think we just need to go and grab honeycomb from this one and then we are all set as you can see the little smoke is up there which means the campfire is working and then all we have to do is shear it like we did the last one and there we go hello bees i'll be leading some of these bees down to the farm once we get their little home ready and speaking of their home i need to uh get a lot of sand for what i'm planning to do i'm just gonna do like a little simple greenhouse next to the farm um also i now that i'm looking at it let me know if you guys want me to put cute little like roofs right here where the um animals are i might do that off camera but i think it just looks a little bare um compared to the extravagant barn we have okay now that we have the honeycomb all we have to do is go over here and make our beehives um which is is it planks or wood okay it's planks and we have plenty of cherry wood to spare and boom 
Now we have two beehives. All right, our next plan of action is to build our little bee sanctuary. I will pop up the references that I am loosely using for the actual beehives and for the little sanctuary part. Again, I am just loosely using it as a reference like I did for this barn behind me. Um, but yeah, let us get those materials and get started. Sorry, there is a lot of building in this episode. I have a lot to do. Now, I think just to mix it up a little bit, I'm going to use the actual cherry logs and not strip them for the bee sanctuary. Um, I just think it'll look better and it'll like like i said kind of mix up the color palette of the builds a little bit so we're going to do that where should we put this i honestly feel like just right here would do um because i'm thinking of having the like crop farm like that way i'll have it off to the side right here instead of uh right in front of the back entrance of the barn just so we can have some pretty walkways and such okay let me vein mine some sand my shovel is probably going to break but that's fine Boop. Ooh. it almost broke <laughs> Um, it's probably gonna break with this one though. Yep, alrighty. Time to go up to our house and grab a new shovel and put the sand in some of our furnaces. Um, I need to grab the coal from this chest though because we have kind of a limited supply right now. I need to go mining. I might stream that, honestly. Let me know if you guys want me to stream whenever I'm doing like off-camera stuff. It might be a little out of line with uploads because I tend to pre-record a lot, but I won't spoil anything if I do stream and there's like new buildings and whatnot, I'll just stay away from them. Um, but it would just mostly be like mining and stuff, so just let me know. I need to stream more to be honest. All right, let me just steal the coal from these blast furnaces and put them in the bottoms of the normal ones, just so we can speed up this process a little bit. Alrighty, and while that's melting, we can go ahead and start on the beehive. Beehive, the bee sanctuary. <laughs> I am roughly going off the dimensions of the bee sanctuary that I got. I completely forgot to make a shovel, but it's fine. I'll just make an iron one for now. God, I'm like a sim. If I have too many actions in my queue, I like the rest of them will just cease to exist. They'll just cancel and then I'll have no recollection of them. Like it's almost nighttime now and I could have just gone and made a diamond shovel, but I just made an iron one. Um, is my tick speed too fast? These trees are growing really fast. I don't know. Alrighty, I'm gonna do the back first just so I don't build into the mountain on accident. All right, so the way this looks like it goes is it's log and then three and then log and then it's two, one, two, and then yeah, that works. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. And then I'll just fill these in on the ones that are not going to have doors on them. I think I'm gonna strip these corner ones and then leave the actual, these ones, um, non-stripped. Right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to find the middle and then I'm just gonna make a little baby circle for the midsection of the sanctuary, like so. And then I'm thinking, I might make three beehives, actually. I might have like one or two on each of these three sides right here. I think that would be cool. And maybe some over in the corners. Um, just depends on how many bees we get but it shouldn't be too hard because beehives are abundant in the cherry blossom biome which is great all right let me just go ahead and grab some spruce so it looks like these are five tall and then it looks like after two there's a little break right here so this is where i'm gonna put the spruce so let me just go ahead and copy that on each side apologies if you hear purring my cat in front of the microphone Okay, and now I'm just going to repeat everything on the same side. Alrighty, now it's time to go and check and see if our glass is finished. And it looks like it is. So let me grab all of this. And then I know I have extra panes upstairs. Um, I am most likely going to change this into white glass. You know what? We have so many of these pink petals. Let me go ahead and make a composter and just uh, put some of those to use. And boop. One moment, I need to make white dye. Okay, I think 10 is good for now. So let's go ahead and first change these to panes. And there we go. Now we should have plenty. For the sides, we are going to be using blocks. And then for the front parts, we are going to be using panes. Okay, now that we have the bottom part finished, it is time to start on the top. And for the top, I am going to use spruce planks just for the color palette. So let us get on up there. And now all we have to do is just line this top part with spruce. Okay, and now I am going to do the middle parts that are wood first, and then we're definitely going to have to go get more, uh, what's it called, sand to make some more glass. So we're just going to go ahead and do this part first. So it's very simple. It's just trap door in this top part and then stairs basically all the way up. So I will see you guys whenever I get done with this. Alrighty, I did the roof slightly differently than what they did. Just on the top, I changed it up a little bit. But yeah, let me go and get more sand and smelt that into glass and everything. And then I will see you guys whenever it's fully done. <laughs> I was 
uh, going to tell you guys that I'm finished with the bee sanctuary, but we have visitors over there that we have to take care of now. I think it's just one from what I see on the map. No. Pow. Pow. Oh my gosh, no. Pow. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, um, I'm not sure how I feel really about the placement of the leaves, so I'm going to change this up real quick. I think I'm just gonna put them symmetrically around the top and bottom of the roof. Um, I tried to do like a more viney look, but I don't really like how it turned out, so I'm just going to change it. Alrighty, so now we are going to be working on the interior, getting more beehives, and bringing the bees in. And with that, I think we are ready to go grab some bees. I am going to shear them for a honeycomb while I'm down there, just because we are already right here anyway. Oh, they are not ready yet. Are there any bees home? No? Oh my god, do they die from the campfire? No. Let me go delete this campfire. Oh my goodness. No! No, 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 I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, go home. Oof. Oops. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go look this way. Let me go check and see if um these bees are still mad at me. If they are, then I'm going to be very upset. Please don't be mad. Please don't be mad. Please don't be mad. Okay, they are just back in their beehive. I have flowers. Please. Yes. Oh, three of them. Great. Our farm is this way. So let's go back down this way. Oh my god, they're so cute. A fourth. Yes. Come, come. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's still four of you. Come on. Ow. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Okay, we're almost there. Come on. We still have all four of you. Come on, come on, come on. This way, bees. To your new sanctuary. Yes, come on. You got it. Come on. There we go. And then while we have them, we can breed them. Yeah! Yes, baby bees! I am just going to add the flowers that I picked up onto the ground. There we go. Alright, bees. This is your new home. I hope you like it. Alrighty, everyone. I think we have done a lot this episode, so I'm going to end it here. We built a barn, we got some farm animals, and we got some bees, and built a bee sanctuary. That checked a lot of things off of my list that I needed to do, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like, comment your favorite part, and subscribe for more. I will see you in the next video.